Hello, and thank you for joining us for another Tips, Tricks, and Techniques. My name is Melvin Dauphin, an application specialist here at Momaki USA. In this video, I will be demonstrating a workflow process utilizing Momaki's newest addition to our plotter lineup, the CGAR. With ID Cut, you are able to print on multiple Momaki roll-to-roll -roll printers and cut on the plotter seamlessly with very little input from the operator. Just load the plotter and let our proprietary technology do the rest. Let's dive right in and see how it's done. Let's start with taking a look at the artwork we will use for this application. I have two batches of stickers set up to be printed on both the JB330 and the CJB330 with different cut lines and different sizes. First, we need to change the cut lines to be spot colors and label cut contour so Rasterlink will recognize these lines for cutting. To do this, select the lines by going to Select, Same, and Stroke Colors. Now that all the cut lines are selected, let's move them to another layer for ease of use. With the cut lines separated, all that's left is to convert them to a spot color labeled Cut Contour. I will use the Momaki Rasterlink plugin for Illustrator, which makes this process only a click of a button. Once the plugin is open, click the first button to change your lines to Cut Contour. You will notice the red lines turn green. For confirmation, you can see the name of the color is now Cut Contour. All that's left is to repeat this process for the other art file. Make sure to save your artwork as an EPS or a PDF file type. Now with our artwork properly set up, let's open them in Rasterlink under the respective printers by clicking File, Open. Once the files are loaded, we can set up the print layout. Because we are using ID Cut, we need to set the destination for the ID Cut settings. To do this, click Environment, then Options. When the Options windows appear, go to the Communications tab and confirm the destination is the computer you are using to run the plotter. In this case, the computer is the same, so nothing needs to be changed. Next, we need to set up Cutting Link, which is the program that drives ID cut files. When you first open Cutting Link, it will ask you for server or client. Again, because we are running everything from one computer, I will be using server. Now that cutting link is open and running, you can see a list of all the files printed using ID Cut, as well as all the plotters added to run using cutting link. If you don't see your plotter, just add it under the cutting device manager. Make sure you are connected to the plotter before attempting to add it. Now with Cutting Link open, let's set up our files in Rasterlink to print using ID Cut under General Print. Once the register mark is selected, the option for ID Cut will become selectable. From here, set up the art as you would any other print file with crop marks. I will do the same for the CJB330 print file. Here we can see the CJB330 printing its file with several copies up at a time. The JB330 is replicating the same print process with a different file. If you're interested in the full capabilities of these machines, contact your local dealer or visit us at www.mamakiusa.com. Now with our stickers printed, we can cut them out on the CG130AR.
First, I'll load the CJB330 stickers. With ID Cut, it doesn't matter the orientation you load your media in, as Cutting Link will read the ID cut marks and rotate the cut file if needed. To demonstrate this, I will load the media upside down. Once the media is loaded, it will begin attempting to search for the ID cut marks. The only input I'll have with the machine is loading the material, and that's it. Once the ID cut marks are read, it will pull that cut file from Cutting Link and rotate it. From there, the artwork will cut as normal. You can see we received the same quality of cut you've learned to love from a Mamaki product with significantly less operational input. Next, we'll cut the JB330 art. This time, let's feed the artwork sideways and see if Cutting Link will rotate 90 degrees for us. Even though we printed on a different printer, Cutting Link still recognized the ID cut marks and knows the cut file to use. And again, the same great quality. Thank you for joining us for another Mamaki exclusive. Be sure to follow, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you again next time.